Hey guys, what's up? This is Mel, and I'm here to talk about the originals, episode 317, titled Behind the Black Horizon, which premiered Friday, April 8, 2016 on The CW, and this one was directed by Joseph Morgan, our very own Klaus Michelson. Um, so let's get right into it. I am recording this two hours before 318 airs. Um, posting is probably going to be after it airs, but uh, just keep that in mind. Um, when it comes to predictions and stuff like that. So um, let's move on to something new that we learned in this episode. Um, but basically for the Kingmaker mystery, the Kingmaker being Lucian's company, we see Klaus and Haley learn that Lucian has been experimenting with werewolf venoms and experimenting on which ones create a more toxic strain. We also find out that there are seven original werewolf bloodlines. Uh, apparently Klaus is from one of the seven. It's not made clear which one of the seven. But it's made clear that he is, that Klaus is from the Northeast Atlantic pack because of Ansel, and therefore Hope is also part of that pack. We also learned that Haley's um, Crescent Wolf pack um, is actually one of the uh, original bloodlines. As um, I also checked a Wikipedia page um, that the other names of the seven original bloodlines are one Deepwater, two Morok, three Basrok, four Barry. Five Poldark, six Paxson, and then the seventh is Crescent. Um, so that's pretty interesting in itself. I didn't think there was actually seven original werewolves bloodlines, so I guess um, um, anything other than that is a mix between bloodlines. But I wonder if the bloodlines with that um, is um, any similar to the vampire sire lines by any chance. But apparently each bloodline has their own version of the werewolf venom, I guess. And um, Lucian apparently created an antidote that could um, heal a type of venom, but he made one that was a creation of all the venom, so that's uh, frightening. Uh, so that's one mystery that was dealt with. Uh, another issue in this episode was Freya's kidnapping. Um, uh, the family is made aware of the kidnapping through Davina and Cole, who find uh, Vincent's SOS video that he had left behind back in the safe house, the sa uh, the Algiers safe house, where um, the ancestors couldn't intervene when he made the video. So they passed the video along to Elijah and Finn, and Davina and Cole were tasked with locating Vincent through the um, body possession spell, or body possession connection between Vincent and Finn. Uh, and while they're doing that, um, Finn and Elijah um, head to Mystic Falls because um, that's where the general location seem to be. While there, they run into um, um, Matt Donovan um, from the Vampire Diaries. So um, this little visit happens within those three years that Damon um, desiccated himself. And it's um, the time where there's... Matt had already run out all the vampires in town, and it looked like the town wasn't abandoned anymore. It seemed like the humans have um, have returned, for the looks of it, which kind of surprised me in itself. But anyways, um, so then it turns out that Finn, Elijah, and Matt um, managed to find Freya and Vincent just after Lucian drank the blood potion that came from Vincent completing the the creation spell. So through all the scuffle and all that, we see Finn killing Lucian. Only that is what Lucian wanted, as it allowed him to rise as this new creature, and he manages to bite Finn. Um, moments um, moments later, when he's back at the compound, Finn dies from this new werewolf bite, despite um, getting Klaus's blood. Blood apparently, the blood didn't do anything to heal him. Um, and this werewolf toxin seems to be um, reacting faster. Um, so with the Michelsons, it ends with um, them having a makeshift funeral for Finn as they spread their ashes, as they said some few a few things about him over a bridge, with the promise of avenging his death. Um, also, we see them later discovering that um, Lucian had set Aurora free since he had collected collected a second vial of the blood potion for her. Um, side note, throughout this episode, uh, Davina discovers that Cole has been cursed by the ancestors ever since he was resurrected, and she did that by testing his blood. And we also see a meeting between Vincent and Davina, um, where he wants her help in taking down the ancestors, since they just basically forced him to create such a being that Lucian has now turned into. So what is something new, 
or not something new, what was the most shocking moment of the episode? Finn's death. I mean, previously, I, I was all for the guy dying and everything, but it sucks that he dies in the episode where he finally feels connected to his family. I mean, that's that sucks. Like, bad. And I didn't expect him, like, I knew Finn wanted to die, so I always thought that it would be by the white oak bullet. But the fact that he died from a werewolf bite that Klaus could cure, I wasn't expecting that at all. So that was surprising in itself. So moving on to top three favorite moments. First one has to be Finn's final moments with his siblings. And then the funeral that they had for him. Like I said, um, the fact, even Finn even said that he finally understood what the always and forever mantra that they had. Because now he was finally included. It was kind of similar to last season when... Cole basically finally experienced what it meant to be part of that always and forever, but yet to die moments afterward because of the curse placed on him. So it's kind of a repeated parallel that we saw. Unfortunately, Finn is the one who permanently died again. So um, there's that. And it looks like everyone was affected. Definitely Freya, for sure. Klaus may be guilty over the fact that or feel guilty of the fact that his blood couldn't cure his brother. Cole's anger towards Finn seemed to have died down in that moment, and Elijah was just mournful of the fact that he was losing his big brother as well. So, while it was an emotional moment for them, I definitely liked how it brought them all together, for sure. Um, another favorite moment... Another favorite moment I'd have to say would be Klaus and Haley working together back at Kingmaker. Um, I definitely like um, how they were working together, how they had a common goal in mind, and they didn't um, question each other about um, how they should do things. And the fact that they fought so well together and so connected in their fighting was just fantastic. I mean, yeah, you're not supposed to agree with bloodshed, but on the originals, whenever the protagonist and is able to kill his enemies is always a good sign. And these were just little footmen of his enemies, so it was great to see both Klaus and Haley teaming up and doing that, and doing it efficiently too, from the looks of it. Uh, another favorite moment is um, the fact that Finn cleverly used Matt Donovan and his gun to shoot Lucian by shooting Freya so that the bullet would hit Lucian's heart. I think Lucian even said, even called um, Finn a clever bastard, I believe he was. Though, it would have been a stupid move if they didn't have vampire blood on their system, on their side to save Freya, but it was a clever move. I didn't think Finn had it in him to actually shoot the one sister he truly loved. So, that was a favorite and a surprise, too. Um, moving on to top three peeved moments. First one has to be Lucian's new fangs. I mean, was it just me or did they look really fake? I mean, at least with the original version of the fangs for the vampires they look like they easily extended from their own teeth but when i first saw lucian's fangs they look like those pop-ins that people put in for halloween i mean it was just ridiculous it just it didn't it didn't do it for me although it, it looked really similar to the fangs that we saw in the prophecy from the beast so there's that um another peeve was the fact that aurora aurora sorry has now escaped because of Lucian, only proving my theory that if you're ever gonna, if you finally have your enemy being captured, to kill the enemy and don't have them suffer as a better punishment because chances are they're gonna find a way to escape and then come back to get their revenge on you tenfold, which is what they proved in this episode by letting Aurora escape the way she did. So if Klaus had killed Aurora instead of entombing her in that crypt, we wouldn't have her being on the loose as an issue again, so it just pissed me off, as is. Um, another peeve moment was the fact that Finn dying um, when he was starting to experience what the always and forever with his family was like. It was just, it's like he finally got a glimpse of what it was, and then it's just all ripped away from him. So there's that. Um, next, what moment will I remember most when I look back on this episode? Um, I believe this was the episode where the beast from the prophecy was born, because I think that is meant to be Lucian and assumed to be Aurora as well. So there's that. It's definitely going to be a reminder that Finn died again. 
So there's that. Um, random questions. Um, how can the ancestors still force Vincent to do their bidding when they are in Mystic Falls? Because the way I understand it is that the way the witches in New Orleans are different from witches like Bonnie is because they deal with ancestral magic. Now, ancestral magic means that the way I took it from season one was that the witches in New Orleans can only use their magic within New Orleans because their ancestors are all consecrated in New Orleans. That means they can only have access to that power when in the city. If they're outside the city limits, then I was under the impression that they were powerless. They didn't have any powers, which is why a lot of the New Orleans witches never left New Orleans because they would be powerless if they did so. So and that's if that's the case, and if the ancestors are tied to consecrated ground in New Orleans, then it would make a sense that they only govern the witches inside the city. So I don't understand how New Orleans, or I don't understand how the ancestors could have such an influence and still have access to Vincent when he's all the way in Mystic Falls, Virginia. I mean, the moment he stepped out off New Orleans ground, Vincent should have been free of the answers, but then he shouldn't have been able to do magic as well. He should have been powerless once he, he left the city. So it did it made sense why Freya could still do magic outside of New Orleans since she doesn't do ancestral magic. But for Vincent, who it makes no sense how he, was, he still had powers outside of New Orleans and how the ancestors still had access to him outside of New Orleans, when essentially all their power is, it has its epicenter in um, New Orleans. I really hope that makes sense in, of what I'm, what, where my confusion lies, because at this very moment, I don't understand how the way it was set up in season one, how it would still work now, since it's kind of contradicting. Please let me know in the comments below if you have any idea how to clarify this for me if i'm understanding it wrong please let me know i even checked a wikipedia page about how the ancestors work and that's the gist of what i got from it um i'll leave it on the screen itself i should i believe i'm going to put like the actual blurb that i saw about the ancestors so you can at least see where i'm coming from there but please let me know in the comments if you have an answer for that uh next question how can they stop the new lucian if he easily took down elijah and finn with ease i mean like that's even scary in itself he was he was having fun with it so regular bullet i'm assuming matt had wooden bullets in his gun so it doesn't seem to slow lucian down one bit he didn't even flinch so um it's gonna be tough to figure out a way to um stop him uh next question how would davina and vincent take down the ancestors will they recruit freya or will they keep it between them i hope they recruit freya but she might be tied up in the whole prophecy business to do that and another question, are Klaus and Fre are Klaus and Haley, sorry, no longer on the run? We saw them both back at the compound and um, dealing with Finn's death in the news that um, Lucian now has a toxic um, werewolf bite that could kill original. So um, I wonder if they're going to stay in town now because of that. Um, so that's about it. Uh, let's go to predictions. Uh, based off the promo for 318, it looks like Lucian and Aurora are going to terrorize the Michaelsons together. So it definitely looks like they are both the new enhanced versions of themselves. Based on the synopsis, it looks like uh, Klaus is taken and Camille and Haley um, team up to tr with a risky plan to try to save Klaus. It looks like Elijah and Freya face their strongest enemy yet. That could be Lucian and Aurora. Uh, and it also looks like Davina turns to Marcel and Vincent when Cole's erratic behavior worsens. Um, I hope they can save him from whatever the ancestors are doing to him. But um, overall predictions, it looks like the Michaelsons are going to need to find some way to kill this new Lucian and Aurora, or Lurora, as I'm calling it right now. Because at least when it came to enhanced original Alark, his um, his weakness was that his life was tied to Elena's. So at least for them, all they had to do was kill Elena to kill the um, enhanced vampire Alark version. With Lurora, it they don't it doesn't seem like they tied their lives to anything. So um, it's gonna be interesting to figure out what their weakness is gonna be. Um, also another prediction, um, Cole's behavior I think is either gonna help or hinder the family in their fight against Lurora, or his erratic behavior is part of the prophecy somehow. And speaking of the prophecy, prophecy stats. It's the same as before though, but new question. Um, since Finn actually died in this episode. 
does Finn's death count as um, a Michaelson falling due to the prophecy? Because it said they would all fall. Um, Rebecca being daggered is supposedly counting as a family causing one to fall. Finn dying because of um, Lucian could be the foe if he counts. Because under the assumption before, it was Klaus, Rebecca, and Elijah that the prophecy um, um, was meant for. But Finn came back. There's also Freya. And there's also Cole came back. So do they... Are they counted towards the prophecy as well and it could be any one of the three that fall or is it strictly meant for Klaus, Rebecca, and Elijah? I'm just wondering if Finn's death um, counts towards that or anything like that but um, that's about it guys so what do you think of the episode? What do you like about it or what shocked you the most about it? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it as well as your own thoughts, theories, and predictions about what's to come in the last few episodes of this season. Also don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, check out my other videos if you haven't done so already. Um, also, if you want a more detailed recap of the episode, check out my live journal account. Um, the entry for this episode is in the description box below. It's more of a play-by-play -play of what happens as I watch the episode for the first time with my in-moment thoughts um, as I watch. If you want uh, more news about the originals, whether it's promos, sneak peeks, web clips, synopses, gifs, quotes, anything like that, check out my Tumblr page. Um, links for those are down in the box as well. You got one for this episode specifically, and then you got one that leads you to a page that has all the originals related tags. For that one, just scroll to the very bottom. Um, yeah, I'm a little behind on that one too, but I am going to catch up on that for sure. Just be a little patient, uh, I promise. And um, that's about it. So thank you guys for tuning in. I truly appreciate it. Again, I'm trying to catch up on all my videos. I'm only a few behind now and behind on Tumblr as well. I'm slowly getting back into the groove of things, but thank you for waiting, and I hope you come back next week to see what I have to say about the next episode. should actually be in a few days since the episode actually airs in less than two hours for me, but for the record, everything I've said here is before I've seen 318, so predictions are legit for me. And um, yeah, so until next time, um, this is Mel. Wish you all a great day, great week, wherever you are. Bye for now.